Uh, speaking of Russellville, Fox 16 Chief Meteorologist Carmen Rose is not far from Neil at the Russellville train depot. So Carmen, how's it been today getting to hang out with NASA scientists? That's amazing. Oh gosh, yeah, we have NASA, we have the U.S. Space and Rocket Center, and that's why I'm joined now by Adam here, all the way from Huntsville, of course, and we have, what, a planetarium behind me. What is that all about? Yeah, so we have our inflatable planetarium behind us. Of course, in Huntsville, we have a more permanent structure, but uh, we bring this out wherever we can to some of these outreach events like the Eclipse. We brought it all around Alabama. We were just in Montgomery before we even brought it here. Um, so we're all around with this thing, but you're able to see these live shows that we do uh, with shows that we've made in-house, a bunch of visuals created by our team. You might see scattered behind me here, uh, live interactive shows. So we really like to engage with our audience, really like to bring things to a level of communication that the general public can really understand and hopefully take something away from our show, even if it's just a shorter show, like a seven minute show we've done in here or a longer show, an hour, an hour and a half show that we do at our uh, home station in Huntsville. We just want to bring that to the people. Very cool. So this is obviously a fantastic opportunity for people to get encouraged and influenced by space in general, but you're also going to be doing some observations. What is that that you're going to be doing? Yeah, we've actually been doing observations all weekend. We've got uh, a couple different types of solar telescopes. So telescopes specifically safe to look at the sun. Um, one of them is a traditional telescope. You can put your eyeball right up to and you can see the photons of the sun bouncing off your retina. And another one, our, our newer ones, maybe some of our favorites, um, are some smart scopes that actually have a filter built in, a computer on them as well, and a camera. So it'll stream that to an iPad. And that's been making it very easy for us to be able to just to help bring that level of communication down. So if we're talking about some features on the surface that we can see in real time, it's not them looking at an eyepiece and us trying to figure out what they're looking at, but we can have this iPad and we can point this sunspot here, that sunspot there, um, these different regions on the sun. It makes it a lot easier for everybody involved. It's fantastic. Oh, very cool. Well, Adam, thank you so much. Uh, we're going to go ahead and send it back to you, and we'll be back outside since all of the uh, festivities here have really started to kick off.